Okay, after they cooled, I trimmed both ends to uh, get them all even, and I marked where the holes go, and I get to use the oil for the punch. Instead of drilling the hole, they get smashed. Okay, so where we are with the chain plates is after I drilled the holes, we welded that around, put a countersink in the back, drilled through, and I'm riveting the chain plates. It's overkill, but instead of thinking overkill, you can think safe. So I heat these up, aim the
riveted. Flush on the back. Okay, in the process of shaping the chain plates so that they'll fit the hull, there's going to be two bends. Um, we've finished the first bend, and how that is accomplished is use a saw and cut most of the way through the chain plate, which is hard to do when you've spent so much time and effort working on something and then to start cutting it into little pieces. But then uh, it is welded um, back together and um, good as new in the new bend. So this is going to be on the hull and then it's going to pull away from the hull and then this will be up against a uh, piece of wood keeping it about five inches away from the hull so that it can clear the bulwarks with the dead eyes and lanyards. Um, the last step after that's done is then to have a jig here with the shape of the hole in it and this piece has to be bent down and around to fit that. After the uh, hardware has come back from the galvanizing, they look a little bit like Christmas tree ornaments. Um, they're well protected, but they look like, uh, well, less than nautical. So uh, I got some paint uh, and patina and started working on uh, different ways of making uh, them look like bronze and various efforts got closer and uh, the one that I'm going to go with is this right here. This uh, is two coats of primer and then two coats of a uh, acrylic paint with a bronze powder in suspension and then that will, while the second coat is still wet, you spray a mild acid on it and it oxidizes and gives you a little bit of a patina. Then you put lacquer on top of that and then oil it. So that's what I'm going to be doing with all of these. Uh, 40 of these pieces and uh, 18 of the uh, chain plates. Into the dead eyes and I assembled the chain plate and dead eyes. So I can get up uh, here, take a look at that. So, so the chain plates 